All right, guys, I'm finally back from vacation. and was running a little bit behind my unboxings, but I've got the barrel and blade box for June 2023. So let's go ahead and bust the seal of this thing and see what we got this month. What's up, guys? Eric here with At Home in the Future, and I'm back with another barrel and blade unboxing. Uh, looks pretty simple this month, just a little brown box here, but if you're unfamiliar with the subscription, really cool gear, really interesting gear. I feel like uh, one of the boxes that typically surprises me. Lots of tactical, prepping, survival gear, that sort of stuff. If you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down in the description. It comes in two different flavors. The level one is about 50 bucks a month. The level two is what we unbox in the channel, and that one's 99 bucks a month. So well worth checking out. Let's pop open the seal and see what we got. I just got back from the beach, so I'm about nine or 10 days behind unboxing this from when you normally see it on the channel. So sorry if you're looking for early spoilers this month, I failed you, but we'll still check this thing out. All right, Operation 72 is that bear spray. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Operation 72 here. Okay, it looks like this one is built around traveling during the summer. It says having tools to survive in any jurisdiction can be critical. And this month they're happy to provide you some awesome additions to your survival or bug out kit or some awesome EDC stuff. So uh, here is the rundown. Like I mentioned, two different levels. Level one on the right is the $50 box and level two is the upgraded version of that. Uh, typically has more gear, sometimes different gear than level one. Uh, we'll see. But we'll go down the list. First up is the Mace Guard Alaska Bear Spray. Uh, pretty cool. For some reason, it's funny to me. Like I mentioned earlier, Barrel and Blade always sends an industry mix of gear, and I can't think of a single other subscription I would get that I would think Bear Spray. All right, so let's see. We got the ingredients down here. Uh, capacin, which is like the pepper stuff, and related capacinoids, inert ingredients, which I'm guessing is the stuff that makes it spray out. All right, cool. So the important stuff sprays about 20 feet, empties the can in nine seconds. That's funny, do not seek encounters with bears. This is a bear attack repellent. Okay, so if you've ever been to, well, obviously this is like Alaska brand, um, but I also spent some time in Montana and around the Yellowstone area and having bear spray with you is kind of a must, uh, especially in areas where they get so used to tourists and everything, they'll just come up on you. In Tennessee, we don't have to worry about like bear attacks as much because we don't have grizzlies or anything. But in that sort of country, uh, this stuff is good to have. Let's see if we can open it up. It looks like the packaging is very easily recyclable. All right, so you got your little pull tab to take it off when you're ready to use it. I wonder if there's an expiration date on this. I don't know, well, let's see if there's anything on the card. <laughs> okay, so this is really funny. It says, uh, they told us that some states limit the amount of pepper spray you can carry, but there aren't any limits on bear spray. Luckily for us, bear spray and pepper spray is made the same, except for the packaging. And <laughs> that bear spray could be hotter. So in some ways, this is basically like covert base you could keep um, in your kit or in your car um, and always have this stuff on you if you get into any trouble. So maybe, although it is for bears, maybe secretly not for bears. I don't know. So kind of a funny item. I do like it though. It is something good to have, especially if you're traveling to those places. So uh, pretty cool. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and put this off to the side and get this other stuff out and take a look at it here too. I laughed when I was reading about the bear spray because I noticed that this is a bear edge knife uh, from Bear and Son. So we got kind of a bear theme going on here. All right, so that looks like what's next up on the card here. By the way, the bear spray, that's a $50 bottle of bear spray. So that's all the mace I think you could need for a while. So this is a Bear and Son's modified Warren Cliff knife, worth 70 bucks here. I don't see anything about the type of steel or anything like that. Not overly familiar with Bear and Son's stuff. I have a few items from them in the past. We'll have you here. All right, so we got as a blade, we got as a flipper. Pretty decent action on it. Got a nice skeletonized frame there. We got jimping on the back spacer. Oh, what material that is? It could be painted something. It could be G10. I'm really not sure. Seems comfortable. Got a big swoop, like a big Warren Cliff thing, like it said. Built in the USA. Interesting, number 123, this says. Now, built in the USA, I'm not sure if that means it is USA-made components, though. It could be um, overseas-sourced components that they just put together in the USA, but still cool to see some USA stuff. I do like it's got a nice deep carry clip, big old lanyard hole there on the end. The action's actually pretty nice. You know, some of these knives, you kind of want to hear that click when you pop things out. This is a very muted sound knife, which you may dig, but for some reason, the lack of a pop sound makes it feel less confident than I would expect. But yeah, this is actually a cool knife. Um, it says Warncliffe, it almost has like a cleaver type look to me. 
it's pretty sharp. I don't see anything at all about the type of steel on this. Maybe I'm missing it. But for 70 bucks, I'm guessing it may be like D2 or something. Okay, so nice skeletonized. Even though it's skeletonized, it still feels pretty heavy. I'm guessing these scales are maybe stainless steel or something like that. Okay, you know, just from looking at it, when I pulled it out of the box there, I didn't know how much I'd dig this, but I actually do dig this blade. Pretty cool. Okay, so bear spray, bear knife. I don't know if we have any other bear themed items or not. It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep moving down the card here. We have a grenade keychain. Uh, Maryland Blade, you guys are cracking me up this month with some of these items. Okay, so from Condor, which makes lots of different kind of tactical storage gear type things, we have this grenade, which I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like this is just a way to store different items. It's got these little key rings built into it here. We got a little zipper pouch. I guess you can stow some stuff in. Maybe if you don't want to carry a wallet, you just want to carry your keys attached to something like this. It's certainly interesting. So it says it can hold five keys and it works great as a little survival kit or cash. You can hold earplugs or a small compass fire starter. Lots of different things in here. I just have an interesting idea of doing that is like a small little EC kit to throw in a bag. Um, so kind of funny. It's one of those things to me that is more tactical uh, than tact actually tactical. Okay, so there you go from Condor, 12 bucks, little uh, value add thing there that's kind of different. Uh, and then minimalist vintage USA flag wallet for 25 bucks. So it's from Mission First Tactical. You can hold eight credit cards, RFID protection, which is nice, it's made for EDC. It's an interesting note there. It doesn't say it's made from Kydex, it says made from Kydex style materials. Kind of bizarre. All right, 4th of July coming up. Maybe you're looking to upgrade your EDC wallet. Um, and this is definitely kydex -y. Again, it didn't say Kydex, it's Kydex-style materials, but basically just like a maybe a thermomolded layers of plastic or something, wedged in a little design. You can slide your cards in there and then push it up with a thumb hole. The texture is nice. feels gri very grippy. You're not going to drop it. Um, kind of interesting thing here that you have a big cutout on the side. I don't know. You may love this. You may give it to a super patriotic friend. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't know if it's something that I would use just because it's not really my style of wallet. Because typically I have cash and some other stuff. And I don't know if I can get it in and out all that fast. But um, interesting. Okay. So we've got a little patriotic wallet there. And then last up, also from Mission First Tactical, we have a belly band holster. All right. This is cool. Let's see on the card here. This is actually a pretty high value box this month, by the way. I think if my math is right, maybe $200 worth of gear there. So this is worth 50 bucks right here. Belly band holster, great during the summer. We may wear shorts that don't offer enough retention for an appendix carry. Looks like it's a super comfortable way to carry. If you have a concealed carry permit, you can kind of see the zoomed out view of all the different pockets there. Got storage pockets, zippers, space for mags, another pocket on the other side. Right, it looks nice, let's open this up. Okay, here we go. So it's kind of a neoprene material in some parts and a lot of this breathable mesh. So yeah, look, we got the stretchy material here and we've got some hook and loop here that will, I guess this whole thing on the, on the side here, this whole thing is actually anywhere you can put this hook and loop. So that's nice. You can size it way down or way up if you need to. Um, you got your compartment up here for your firearm. You got your mag pockets and everything. Everything's built really solid. I like that the zippers have this little grippy thing on it. So it opens up really nice and you can kind of see through it, see that mesh in there. So super breathable, like they said, uh, it is nice. As far as being like a lightweight kind of a holster or way to carry, this is definitely one of the nicest solutions I've seen there. You can get it the full view of that. It's got this little insert here. So it's showing how you can do the sizing. So yeah, if this thing is, if you're a slim gentleman like I am, you may want to cut down the band a little bit uh, to make room. It says that that's perfectly okay according to their instructions here. Uh, but the actual part that holds your firearm, there's a lot more rigidity to it than you would think. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that is definitely the type of thing I expect to see from Barrel of Blades, so really neat. So that is a cool box this month for Operation 72. We've got this first tactical belly band holster. We've got bear spray. We've got this little weird grenade holder thing. We've got a nice patriotic EDC wallet and a surprising uh, little EDC knife. Um, really nice in the hand, pretty comfortable and everything too. Uh, so cool, that's from Bear Edge. So remember bear knife, bear spray, 
Stay away from bears though. So that is it for this month's box. As always, if you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down in the description to save yourself some money. It always has really cool stuff, so definitely worth checking out. And that's it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit that like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll see you next time.